<laughs> but uh, anyway, for those of you who don't know me, I am Annabelle Kim. I am your connection to green air diffusers. And uh, I thought I would share, if for those of you who probably don't know us, um, a little bit about green air so that you're familiarized with us and how great diffusion is, not only in your personal life, but also if you're doing your own businesses. So um, what percentage would you say that's going to be watching this are customers versus builders? Um, I would say maybe 20% builders. Okay, so the majority is going to be a customer base. Yep. Okay, great. So I think what we should talk about is really just understanding, number one, uh, diffuser technology and how that benefits your home life. Um, and then for those of you who build, I'm sure you've probably heard a little bit about Green Air. Um, but we are so honored to partner with doTERRA in this way. Uh, I'm also doTERRA, you guys, so I have hand-carved out this program um, for all of you to earn some amazing perks and benefits. And you can find out about that more through Tina. Um, but the most important thing when you're using your diffusers, and we're going to talk about all these different types of diffusers, is understanding the quality and also how to dose your diffusers. So with Green Air, Green Air is the largest manufacturer of diffusers worldwide. It's uh, very important to work with a reputable, established diffuser company when you're choosing your devices. Uh, the reason being is because there's no regulation set in place. So if you don't have a company that you really trust and knows that are really manufacturing all the parts on their own, it's a gamble of what you get. Um, we love our doTERRA oils. Uh, I think I mentioned this, but I'm doTERRA too. And the oils are some of the most potent oils that are available on the planet. Um, so that said, you really need to be making sure that you're using medical grade diffusers so that your diffusers don't break down. Um, you're also going to run into to scarier things like leaching, um, where you have these uh, toxins uh, breaking down from the reservoirs, for example, when you don't use a medical grade reservoir. So these are important things to understand. The great thing is, is that Green Air uh, has partnered so well um, with the doTERRA community that we have stellar prices and everything is available to you guys in small quantities. But again, you can ask Tina more about that in the future. Okay, so just a little bit of walking knowledge. I, I love diffusion. Um, it's one of my favorite routines in my life uh, to make sure that I'm doing some sort of self-care, but also protecting uh, the people in my environment. But we're gonna learn a little bit about ultrasonic water diffusers. Um, that's probably what you guys are most familiar with if you're already diffusing. That's when you've got water in a tank and it creates a mist. Um, it's the most widely used for good reason, very economical on your oil usage. And then we'll talk a little bit about nebulizers. I love nebulizers. They're a specialty item, um, but you should definitely still perk up because everyone can use a nebulizer. And then I'm going to teach you a little bit about the pad-based diffusers. Uh, and then we're going to um, hop over to some fun giveaways for you guys for convention time. Okay, so ultrasonic water diffusers. Maybe you guys are uh, familiar with the Bolo, the Petal, the Lumo. All of those are ultrasonic water diffusers. The way that these work is that you're putting a large amount of water into, a, and then you're adding a tiny bit of oil to a reservoir. And inside there, there's something called the piezo chip. It's this little circle in the bottom of your device. I'm going to show that to you in a minute. But what it's doing is when you power that on, it vibrates at a rate of 1.7 million times per second. So with Green Air's diffusers, what comes out is a medical grade particle size. So the ultrasonic uh, soundless technology is actually converting the water into a gas. And so what results is a dry, cool ice. And it gets blown out into your air and it helps you breathe it in. It also uh, deals with pathogens in the air. This is a really special technology. With different diffusers, the range on the particles that come out of a diffuser, diffuser range heavily. So if you don't have a medical grade diffuser, your microns can be well over 10 micron in size. So that's important because the larger they are, the less beneficial they're going to be. The larger they are, they'll be heavier, they're going to fall to the floor and not float throughout your environment. Um, the larger they are, they're not going to be able to absorb into your body as you breathe that in, in or even 
uh, absorbed through your skin. So medical grade is so, so important. So uh, just remember that. Okay, I'm gonna show you this little chip. Most of you are users, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of this, but this is the Pizio chip. You might have heard it referred to as the ceramic disc. This is what you wanna take care of. This is the brains of your entire machine. So this thing is what's going to be vibrating and creating those soundless ultrasonic waves as illustrated here. So this is Greenier's Pizio chip. It is the most advanced chip available on the marketplace today. Uh, it is, for example, quadruple the cost of all of our competitors. So we will not skimp on this chip because we wanna make sure that we're giving you that teeny tiny micron size output. So Green Airs, again, produces one degree microns in size. That's the smallest that this technology can do. So you're getting the absolute best here. The advantages of the ultrasonic water diffusers is it's really many. We, of course, love the smells, right? Um, but really what you want to know about this is that this is a cool diffusion. So you never want to heat up your oils when you're misting that into the air because you're going to change the original constituents of that oil. So you want it to be as it was intended out the bottle. So cool diffusion is really, really key here. Um, because it's cool, you're going to be able to absorb that also into your skin. Um, you're going to have that floating throughout your airways, again, as it was meant out the bottle. This technology is soundless. It's actually really soothing. I love watching the mist coming out. I tend to get hypnotized a little bit sometimes by some rotating lights, but this is a really wonderful uh, add-on into your environment, and it's really helping out your, uh, your air space, your air quality. It's actually able to zap out pathogens, so on contact, these tiny little particles are actually cleansing your air as it comes into pathogens on contact. All of the oils have amazing properties and all of them have multiple properties that overlap. So most of them have the uh, antibacterial, antifungal, so many wonderful properties to help cleanse the air. Uh, the particles, they actually stay suspended in the air for hours. Um, so you get that cleansing power. Um, so even when you leave the home, it's a good idea. I always uh, leave Purify going. Um, in the air. And so that I know that I'm getting maximum cleansing throughout the air. When I'm in my airspace, I want the on guard going. Um, but this is such a great technology to clean your air. You're also, as I mentioned, in, from a body perspective, you're breathing them in. So it's actually getting inhaled through your breathing. It then flows throughout your bloodstream as it courses through your blood from your lung space. Um, as it even comes on contact, those little particles, if they land on your skin, that also absorbs through your skin. So you're getting so much benefit at a cellular level uh, as it starts to help pump through your blood. Okay, nebulizers. I love nebulizers. So I know Tina's familiar with them. Um, she's tried a couple of ours, uh, but this is a specialty category. The thing I love about nebulizers, especially when paired with our doTERRA oils, is this is the most powerful concentrated way you can use oils, but you can really do a lot of uh, excellent treatments to assist your body um, to do what you're hoping for it to do. So this is also so, so concentrated. So if you're trying to deep clean your home um, or neutralize odors, you can do that too. So the way that this works is you're pouring straight oil into a reservoir. And there's a small tubing system that grabs a small portion of essential oil and then it condenses with an extremely powerful blast of air. So out comes a microfine mist. Now the size of the particles in this technology is even smaller than that of the ultrasonic water and it's straight oil. So this is 0.5 microns in size. So again, no water involved. So this is really potent. So if you have someone who has an acute health condition, or maybe you've got a little seasonal threats going on, uh, this is wonderful uh, when you need that maximum strength in diffusion. You don't have to have some sort of horrible ailment to use these though. Uh, I use this regularly. I have dogs. And so this is a wonderful nifty tool to power on for just 10 minutes. Um, I'll power that on for 10 minutes next to my dog's bed and it helps to absorb and neutralize odors. So this is so great for 
multiple reasons. I also love, especially now, I have um, some immunocompromised situations going on. So I am on guarding like crazy this season. And so this is a great way for me to feel great about knowing that I'm getting maximum strength into my environment. So there's a lot of really wonderful ways that you can use this. Uh, very easy to make blends too. So um, let's say that you want some assistance breaking down some phlegm. Um, you can definitely do breathe and lime is one of my favorites. Um, lots of different ways to use these and they are just so, so wonderful. The last two types of diffusers that you see on the market are pad-based diffusers. The way these would work is, is really quite simple. You're just putting oil directly onto a cotton pad and either a low level of heat or a fan is going to help emit these scents. So I don't know if any of you remember, but I did mention that when you are misting oil into the air, you never want to heat up your oils. So in this case, we're not misting into the air. This is simply olfactory trigger, meaning your smell. So what is going on here is you're just getting a low level of heat that's going to help warm up the scent, but you're not getting any molecular lift off. So in this case, the heat doesn't matter. Same thing with the fan. So don't make the mistake of putting on guard on these pads if you're expecting to get some uh, immune support. So you really only want to use these for your olfactory trigger, again, smell. So that's really, really powerful though. So don't dismiss these. Um, so much is powered in the brain um, through our olfactory system. The amygdala triggers so much with emotional communication. Uh, I know that I use these constantly. I've been really in love with uh, the adaptive suite. So that has such a pleasant smell and it's a blend. So it holds really well in these pads. So these are really wonderful technology. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen really quickly. And I wanted to just show you guys the best practices of uh, using and keeping up your ultrasonic water diffusers. So here's the inside of a reservoir of an ultrasonic water diffuser. This is here, the bottom of the willow and I can't seem to find, oh, here's the top. I'm back. So this is an ultrasonic water diffuser. So in this case, we have, um, sometimes you'll have glass reservoirs. This here is a plastic reservoir, and that's very, very common. So the thing that you want to make sure is that you're using a company that's using polypropylene or a high medical grade pl plastic. So Green Air uses polypropylene, which is the most, the highest grade of medical grade plastic on the industry. The reason that's important is because lemon, for example, a lot of our hot oils, uh, they will break your diffusers if you don't have this high quality um, grade of plastic in there. So you want to make sure that you're using a really good diffuser instrument. Um, okay, for some of you people, Tina, has this happened to you? Um, I have had diffusers where I put on guard in it on the first use and it's forever stained and I can't get it out. Um, so the nice thing about a green air diffuser is if you notice, I don't know if you can see, but this is really glossy, this plastic, and it's very hard. So those two things combined, um, it it's, does not have a lot of pores. So in order to keep your diffuser in tip top shape, and this diffuser, by the way, is extremely old, several years old. This is the original Willow, which has been out for several years. I diffuse in this every single day with On Guard, and I have no stain. So the way that I keep it like that is you're just going to uh, dump out your contents after each use is the best thing, but I'll be honest with you, I'm a pretty lazy diffuser upkeep person. Um, get yourself a good microfiber cloth. I have nothing to do with Norwex, but they're amazing. Uh, but just a really good microfiber cloth is going to uh, forgive all sins with diffusing. Um, but even if you don't have a good one, it, just a cloth is fine. You want to fill your water up with diffuser after you've dumped out the contents with warm water. Let it sit there for maybe 10 minutes, uh, and then you're going to dump it back out, and you're going to take a cloth, and, and, and it should be as quick as this, and that's it. Staining gone. The other thing that you want to take care of is this ceramic disc. So periodically, you want to just scrub this disc out. So you can use a Q-tip. I actually prefer a Q-tip over a brush because I can really get in the sides. But what you're trying to do is inevitably, mineral deposits are going to form over time. And so they'll get crusted on this disc. If they get crusted on there, it's not gonna be able to vibrate at that 1.7 million times per second rate. And then you're not gonna get proper misting. So just 
take a little uh, warm water and just scrub the sides out. That's all you're doing. If you have a Q-tip, just go like this, gently. And so that's all you need to do. Very, very simple to keep your diffusers in great shape. Okay, now when we're using our diffusers, so you always want to, again, protect that disc. So add your water first, because you don't want to put your oils directly on your uh, piezo chip, because it's going to wear away at the coating. So this is going to, again, help you prolong the life of your diffusers. So when you're oiling, here's the thing that people don't realize. They think, oh, someone told me to put five drops of oil in any diffuser and I'm good to go. But the truth is, is that there's a ratio. The more water, the more oil you're going to need. The less water, the less oil you're going to need. So the proper dosage of your oils is going to be for every 100 milliliters of water, you need five to seven drops of oil. Again, for every 100 milliliters, you need five to seven drops of oil. So this here in the willow tank, it's about 200 milliliters. I filled it uh, halfway. So I put in, so far I've done four drops of On Guard. Uh, if you guys haven't tried this blend yet, this could be a good thing for us to make people um, message you with the blend. Um, for their entries. What do you think, Tina? Oh. So they can be back. So my favorite blend that I've been using like crazy, and I call it the catch-all blend, and that is On Guard, Adaptive, and Lemon. It is so uplifting, and it's also um, giving my body all sorts of uh, immune support. I love it. So then... Uh, equal parts each? Equal parts. So... When I, uh, that's, you don't have to layer. There's no order of operations. I love that about diffusion. You can't screw it up. So the only thing you really need to know is that ratio. So we're going to turn this on. So a good diffuser should be diffusing immediately. You shouldn't have to wait for it to quote unquote warm up. If you heard that terminology, uh, that's ridiculous. So you really want to see mist immediately. I'm going to tell you though, some pitfalls that people go through when they, don't get missed um, from a diffuser. Uh, sometimes it's just not a very good diffuser. So, um, but there's also common errors. Uh, green airs diffusers and most diffusers are going to like tap water. So the reason for tap water is because there's minerals in your tap water. So when those minerals are vibrating in that piezo effect, uh, it's actually helping to create friction to create this mist. So if you're using purified water, that's okay. I understand that some of you need to use purified water. Um, just add a little tiny pinch of salt. Just make sure that you fully dissolve your salt or else the salt's extremely, extremely corrosive. Um, so just stir up your water and dissolve the salt. That'll add minerals back and get you that mist. The other most common error is that people overfill their diffusers. So they wish that the diffuser went for 10 hours instead of six hours. So they fill it all the way to the cap. You can't do that. There needs to be room in your diffuser to actually make that mist or else it's not going to work. Um, the last common error that people have is that, especially in the winter time, is that diffusers have a hard time making mist the colder the water is. So do yourself a favor and make sure that you are patient and heat up your water to uh, like bath water. So lukewarm water is what is going to perform best for ultimateness. So, um, okay. Uh, can you think of anything I didn't cover so far before we get to the fun highlights of giveaways? No, except you just inspired me to clean my diffusers for the first time. <laughs> In how many years? Yeah. <laughs> I still have my serenity. Yeah, I do too. I oh, mean, I this... It lasts. I mean, if you're using a good diffuser, they're going to last a long time, even without good care. <laughs> yes. So, um, ladies, I wanted to just point out a little bit of how do you uh, access green air. Um, and so, you are welcome to come shop at greenairipc.com. So, what you need to know is this website is hidden. So if you Google Green Air, you will get. Hang on, we lost whoa. you, Annabelle. Hello? Uh, to my doTERRA groups. And so you guys are all VIP and allowed access in here. Can you hear me? Uh, you just came back. You were off for about 30 seconds there. Oh, okay. So I was. IPC is hidden, and then I lost you. 
Okay, so just make sure you guys, if you want to access Green Air, you have a special benefit. This is a secret members only website for my doTERRA groups. So that is greeneripc.com. So I just wanted to point out some specials we have going on here, which is amazing. So I've got uh, you know a hostess gift sampler, which I do every, only when Green Air, like Paul Prince is the CEO and I have to beg him and he won't let me do this every year because we are a warehouse, like we're a major manufacturer, so we ship in cases. So I've gotten him to do a sample pack where you don't have to buy a case of all these, uh, but these are my favorite diffusers. So these are so wonderful where you get to try the pretty diffusers and you can get all four of these at below wholesale price, $120 for all four of these. So that includes your shipping and there's no tax. So is this not amazing? You can have your bedroom, your living room, your office, you know, whatever you want. But you have these beautiful diffusers that I absolutely love. And that's a convention only special. I'm gonna um, probably extend the specials next week, Tina. Okay. Uh, so I'll let you know. I will give you notice before uh, we yank them. Um, but I, I don't have official approval, but I'm sure they'll let me. So next week. <laughs> uh, it'll still be available. Um, I also have 15% off all of the master cases. I wanted to just make you understand what a master case is. So if you go into the shopping, um, you're going to see that when you choose whatever items, everything is priced by the case. So let's say we go to the 360, that's a really popular diffuser. And this one here, uh, says right here master case if it doesn't come in a master case you won't see the word master case so that means uh, you know master cases here is uh, how you identify what a master case is so for example if I go to the Beckett that does not come in a master case so this here oops they do have master cases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're going to change that they did tell, tell me they were going to change it but basically it's going to be let's clarify this way 16 units or more is what a master case is. 16 units or more. Got it? Yep. So it will be an additional 15% off of master cases of 16 units or more. And then the last special I've got going for convention is there's usually you can't get free shipping until um, you've reached 2000. So now you can get free shipping if you order over 350. So for those of you who are customers and users, don't be afraid of the case prices. Uh, once you start diffusing, if you haven't already, most people have more than five diffusers in their lives uh, once they start diffusing. You want one for your car, every kid wants one, uh, you bring one to the office. So this is such a great way to get, you know, for example, I just think this hostess sampler is amazing. I do too, because you get, you don't have the same one throughout the whole house because obviously my daughter has that black widow in her room, willow, sorry, in her room. Um, and I have the serenities in our room. And then down here, I have the more ceramic, like the gray on the far left there. Um, and then in the car, I've got the bamboo, um, you know, so yeah. So you don't want the same one everywhere in my, in my opinion. I agree. And so this is a great way to try us out. So, you know, I'm never going to knock doTERRA guys because I am doTERRA too. Um, but doTERRA doesn't manufacture their diffusers. Actually, we've made doTERRA diffusers as well. So when you're not the manufacturer of the diffusers, there's a carrying cost. Um, they don't have access to the parts. All of this costs more money. So you're coming direct to the, us, the manufacturer, and you're getting the highest possible grade of a diffuser that you can purchase in the industry, where one diffuser from doTERRA goes anywhere up to $90 wholesale. Uh, you're getting four of them for $120. So this is a wonderful time. We only do this once a year. Uh, and the sampler packs, I, had, I couldn't have one last year or the year before. So this is, uh, you know, I haven't had one in three years. So this is quite wonderful. Um, I also wanted to just show you guys um, the new specials. I know, Tina, you probably already posted this because you're so good with your groups and getting information out. Um, but I did want to mention to those of you who are building businesses, 
Um, we did sell out of a lot of our car diffusers. I know a lot of you are doing continuing education um, for the reward. So I just wanted to point out some things. We have the black cube trucker, the white Modelo, and the Therapure in bamboo. I also wanted to let you guys know some exciting news, and that is that the therapy, this Modelo here, oh, it's actually right here. This is going to be cordless. So it's uh, coming out um, very, very soon. So in the next couple of months, this is going to be 100% rechargeable and cordless. So that's, that's really amazing. So it's a car diffuser. Um, I also wanted to point out the Immuno. Um, for some of you who might have ordered this already, I want to let everybody know there's a second generation already coming out. Um, we had, not everybody had this issue, less than 1% um, of our feedback, over 100,000 units sold. However, Green Air is really anal. Can I say that on this call? But they are about quality assurance. And so we've redesigned the lids. Um, so, uh, but take a look at how cool this unit is. It's a water diffuser. Have you gotten any of these yet? Not the Immunos, no. Oh my gosh, they're so great. So you put water in these and you put your essential oil in them. And this is a totally cordless diffuser. You just recharge it with the USB cord. You get a full charge in under an hour and check out this power. Wow. Isn't that great? Your own personal diffuser to take anywhere. Exactly. So you can also put isopropyl alcohol in these. And it's a wonderful pairing when you put it with On Guard. So you can make your own sanitizer. I love this because I've been spraying off deliveries or door handles or anything I don't want to touch. Even, you know, grocery carts. I definitely have been doing that. Uh, but this is just such a great device uh, that's really, really versatile. The other cool thing about this is because you are part of Tina's group, you guys are all access to these prices. Um, we have this nationwide at Sprouts and Whole Foods, and they're selling these for uh, $40 for one unit. $40 for one unit. <laughs> you guys get these for $15 for one unit. So that's a huge, huge benefit of being part of this group. So uh, it'll come packaged like this. It's such a great unit. Um, I know most people like to have at least four for themselves, one in the kitchen, one in the car, one in their office. It's a really, really great, relevant device right now 